Hello and welcome to the short video about Jaguar XK8 checking early binary VVT units are fully retarded. This is episode 22 in my series of short videos um, showing how I change my timing gear, timing change, tensioners and guides. And in this episode um, I'm showing how I actually think I actually checked that my VVT units were fully retarded. Okay, so the early VVT units or binary units are uh, as seen here on the left hand side slide. Um, there's no markings or ribs on the outside of these, they're quite plain. I believe these are, um, <coughs> you can tell these are different because they have um, a solenoid right at the front of the uh, the uh, front cover casing, whereas the later units have all these ribs on the side here. and uh, there's actually a solenoid coming up through the cam cover. So you can tell the difference. Um, I believe the binary units have less adjustment between retired and advanced, and they're either on or off, hence binary. The later ones are, have a little bit more adjustment, another 10 degrees, I believe. I can't, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but they are variable between those two limits, so they're a bit more uh, usable. Um, but for me, actually, my uh, earlier units, are, the, the problems began to start when I, in the uh, Jaguar instructions to uh, uh, set the timing change, you need to check that the VVT units are fully retarded before you tighten the chains and uh, the sprockets up. So no, I was uh, thinking I'd be able to use this lever that comes in the timing kit to adjust it backwards or retard it as I would be able to do, I believe, with the uh, the uh, the later VVT units. But unfortunately, the, the hole on the, the early units is, uh, is a lot smaller. You can't even get the tool anywhere near this hole. And there's no actual holes down this blind hole to uh, to engage with the unit to, to pull it back. So I had to um, find a way of doing this. Um, I did look on the Jaguar 4 and put a, a, a thread out there and one of the guys uh, replied and gave me some tips what to do. Um, working out myself, that, like I say, I'm not 100% sure whether this is correct. If anybody knows the correct procedure, please let me know. But this is what I worked out together with uh, the guy on the, the forum. Uh, the retard actually is uh, clockwise. And advance is anti-clockwise so I had to make sure that this uh, cog was fully retarded or fully clockwise as far as it could go before I started to tighten anything up so what I did was use a rubber hammer a rubber mallet and tap the cog uh, at the top here clockwise as far as it, it could go now it did move initially and it I was able to retard one side. One side was actually already fully retarded. Um, and, it, and I did it like this. I've got a sh little short video showing how I did it and I could check uh, how I checked it after it. Because once you've got it re fully retarded, when you tap it back uh, anti-clockwise, it, it, it wants to return. It wants to yeah, there's a spring return. So what you can do is you can hold the actual VVT unit to stop it returning, keep it tapping over, and then let it go. And it will fully return to fully retarded, I believe. This is what I'm showing here. So I'm going to tap the top of the the sprocket with a mallet, holding onto the VVT unit, and I can see it just flicking uh, anti-clockwise into advance. Then, as I let go, it flicks back to retard. Now I believe that is fully retarded now because it's doing that. Just to run through that again, so I'm going to tap the top sprocket. Uh, anti-clockwise you can see it advancing and then as I let go it goes back to a retarded what I believe to a retarded position so that's what I did on both sides of my VVT units and um, I believe they're fully retarded as I say not 100% sure that's the uh, correct procedure that's what I used if anybody has the, the pucker one or the proper one please let me know thank you very much for watching Please subscribe uh, if you'd like to see more XK videos.